The biggest name available at the trade deadline this year, Claude Giroux, has been traded from the Philadelphia Flyers to the Florida Panthers. We'll get into all the details right now. Hey everybody, so today we'll be talking about the Claude Giroux trade between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Florida Panthers. Of course, this happened this past weekend when I was away, but we could get a chance to talk about it now. This was a pretty big deal. Giroux was one of the biggest names, if not the biggest name, available at the deadline this year on an expiring contract. Philadelphia nowhere near the playoffs. It was very much expected that they were going to move him. And uh, it happened as Florida continues to load up for what's hopefully a deep playoff run for them this year as uh, they already take a great team and make it even better with the addition of Claude Giroux. So let's take a look at it here. Uh, Full trade. Florida Panthers get Claude Giroux, a fifth round draft pick in 2024, Connor Bunneman and Germain Rubsov. So let's take a look at the full trade here. The Florida Panthers get Claude Giroux, a 2024 fifth round draft pick, Connor Bunneman, and Germain Rubstov. Rub, Rubsov, Rubsov. So let's take a look at the full trade here. The Florida Panthers get Claude Giroux, a 2024 fifth round draft pick, Connor Bunneman, and Germain Rubsov uh, in exchange for Owen Tippett, a 2024 first round pick, a 2023 third round pick. And a special note here is that the Flyers retain 50% of Giroux's contract, his cap hit which uh, really helps the Panthers from a money standpoint in staying under the cap, although the unfortunate injury to Aaron Ekblad uh, all of a sudden made money not an issue. But we didn't know that Ekblad was going to be out uh, when this happened. So um, they got some cap relief as well from the Flyers retaining on Giroux's contract. But all in all, this is interesting. Uh, because I really feel like this is not that big of a return for the Flyers. Now, I understand that Giroux was not going to fetch as big of a return as somebody, you know, with term on their contract that was going to be more than just a rental for the next couple of months. Um, So you were going to see that huge return for him. But, man, it's been such a seller's market this year where, you know, we're seeing these teams go out and pay these big prices and, and really be willing to give up a lot of future assets, particularly high draft picks, and, and make those moves, giving those up in exchange for players coming back. And the Flyers, I mean, yes, they get a, a first-round pick out of it, but they get a first and a third, and that's it as far as draft capital for a guy who's you know had such a great career and is still such a great offensive player like Claude Giroux is. It just feels like, this return was a little bit lower than expected for the Flyers, given what the other returns on other trades around the league has been. Now, obviously, that makes it a great deal for the Florida Panthers, who continue to load up. Now, Giroux is really the only big return here. Bunneman and uh, Rubsov are kind of failed prospects that have never fully become NHL players, probably staying down in the AHL. And they're not going to have a big impact for Florida. Fifth round pick, very small chance of a fifth round pick becoming a a full-time NHLer. But they get Claude Giroux to an already stacked forward group. I mean, if we look at the Florida Panthers, they've been one of the top teams in the NHL all season. One of the best teams in the league without a doubt. And now they've just gone out and added another high, high high-level player to that roster. Makes them significantly better. Owen Tippett, yeah, you know, f- former first rounder, um, you know, never really fully got his spot on the Panthers. Um, he's kind of been buried just in how deep that forward group is with Florida. I, I, it's going to be interesting to see what he's able to do in Philadelphia because he's obviously going to get a much 
you know, bigger role with the Flyers, much more ice time, much bigger spot in the lineup. And then, uh, you know, the two draft picks are, the you know, really important for the Flyers as well, particularly that first round pick. But I, I mean, I guess, you know, Brandon Hagel, you know, you weren't going to see a return like that, I guess, for everybody. Uh, Tampa was particularly willing to give up a lot to get him. And he does have term on his contract, whereas Giroud doesn't. But it's just weird seeing the massive return that Brandon Hagel got and then seeing Claude Giroux, who is a more talented, better player, bigger name, get what's overall kind of less of a return. It's weird to see that, but there's a lot of other factors that play into that, particularly the contract situation where Giroux is pretty much just a rental. So we take a look here. Claude Giroux, obviously 34 years old, expiring contract, but a long, long time a uh, great player in the NHL. He's played a thousand games. He has 900 career points. He was the captain of the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, played his entire career in Philadelphia up until this trade happened. Um, obviously, just incredible, incredible numbers. Many, many 20 goal seasons. Uh, 130 goal season there back in 2017 2018. He also had 102 points that year, but a consistent point producer for the Flyers year in and year out over the course of his career. But, you know, really, really good veteran player for the Florida Panthers to bring in. The player that the Flyers got, Owen Tippett. Uh, first round, 10th overall back in 2017, 23 years old now, big body, 6'1", 207 pounds. Not the most physical player, but does have the body to use it when he needs to, um, which I think the Flyers will like having, you know, a bigger winger like that coming into the lineup. But he was just always kind of buried in the on the roster for Florida just because of how many forwards they have and, and how many good offensive players. He played 43 games for the Panthers this year, um, you know, 14 points. It was a or 42 games worth Florida one now with Philadelphia, but 14 points in 42 games with the Panthers this year at 18 points in 45 games with the Panthers last year. Again, he was down uh, down in the AHL uh, at when this trade happened. So, you know, he he's a guy that's going to get a lot more opportunity with Philadelphia. And I'm really interested to see what Owen Tippett is able to do with the Flyers, getting that more ice time, getting that higher spot in the lineup, because he was a 10th overall pick. I mean, this guy was taken in the top 10 of an NHL draft. He certainly has some really good upside and some really good potential. And he's still only 23 years old, so we should really start to see him coming into his own now, uh, you know, at 23, 24, 25. He should be making some big jumps forward, and it's going to be interesting to see if he can do that with the Flyers. So, all in all here, uh, obviously, Giroux, a huge name, going to the Panthers. I mean, man, talk about what Florida's been able to do at the trade deadline getting Ben Sherratt and now bet uh, on the back end and now getting Claude Giroux to add up front. I mean, holy cow. Talk about you you already have a great team and you just add Sherratt and Giroux now to that lineup and the richer getting richer in the Atlantic division. I mentioned talked about the arms race going on in the Atlantic um in, in the video my Bruins video about the Hoppus Lindholm deal. I mean, it, you, this is what you've got to do if you're going to keep up because Florida's getting better, Tampa is getting better, Boston's getting better, Toronto's getting better. Everybody is adding at the deadline. Every one of those playoff teams are adding at the deadline. And it's a it's a big race to the top now to see who's able to make the moves that ultimately get them to that final destination, which is the Stanley Cup Finals. So um, big trade here for the Panthers on top of already making the Sherratt trade. And uh, they have added two big pieces to their lineup already at the deadline. We'll see if they do anything else. Um, but even if they don't, they got two huge parts of a lineup here uh, at this deadline. So Florida gets Claude Giroux from the Philadelphia Flyers. And honestly, it was not as big of a price as I thought they were going to have to pay. So that's an even bigger win for the Florida Panthers as well. So that's what I've got on the Claude Giroux trade to the Florida Panthers. Thank you guys so much for watching.
And with that, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our merchandise store membership and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys soon.